If you're a sprinter, a soccer player, or just generally interested in becoming faster, you wanna watch this entire video because we're gonna look at the max speed of the fastest soccer players, analyze their technique, and find out the secrets behind their superhuman speed. The fifth player in this list is Kyle Walker from Manchester. He was 28 at the World Cup when he clocked in at 33.5 kilometers per hour. In this game footage, I noticed that when he begins a sprint, Kyle simply decides where he's gonna sprint to, puts his head down, and just starts going. In track, sprinters keep their eyes facing straight ahead. This allows them to maintain balance at a high speed and minimizes how much energy they waste from having their body move side to side. However, in soccer, some do turn their head to look across the field and are much slower as a result. The main takeaway here is that when you're in a full sprint, eyes straight ahead and avoid turning your body unless you have to because it throws you off balance and slows you down. The fourth player in this list is Santiago Aria from Colombia. He's the youngest person on this top five list, just 26 years old at the World Cup when he clocked in at 33.6 kilometers per hour while playing for Madrid. In this clip, we can see that he uses his arms powerfully, keeping his elbows tucked near his body without letting his hand get too far from his torso. This is actually an advanced technique that Usain Bolt uses with his arms to help him generate maximum speed. I talk about this further in my video, Usain Bolt Sprint Secrets, which you can click somewhere right here to check that out. Compare how powerful his arm swing is to his teammate in jersey number 10, who barely gets his elbows up into the air. A common mistake, which I made before as well, is to underestimate just how effective the arms can be when it comes to increasing your speed. To see what I really mean, in this clip, you can see the defender is sprinting for the ball at around the same distance as Santiago, but is significantly slower because they are barely using their arms. And if you wanna learn more about how to improve your arm swing, you can check out my beginner sprint shows video by clicking somewhere right here. It's one of the easiest and most effective ways to instantly improve your speed. The main takeaway here is that your arms significantly make you faster or slow you down depending on your technique. By the way, if I'm pronouncing any of these names wrong, please let me know in the comments. The third player on this list is Luis Advencula from Peru. He was 28 at the World Cup and clocked in at 33.8 kilometers per hour. In this clip, we can see that his acceleration is crazy. He's passing teammates who are even further ahead, including one guy who's clearly on a full sprint. Right away, one thing that stood out to me was that his star is very strong. Not only is his reaction time crazy fast, but he keeps his first foot low to the ground. In track, this is a classic technique that elite sprinters use. What they do is keep their foot low to the ground on that first step as they drive out of the blocks because the lower the foot is to the ground, the faster they can put their foot back into the ground and increase their speed. We can see that Lewis is using this exact technique, which makes me wonder if he actually has some sort of background in track. And the most important thing that we can learn from Lewis when it comes to becoming faster in soccer is to make sure that no matter what, that you quickly hit that like button for me. The faster you do, the faster you'll become. But for real though, the main takeaway with Lewis is to practice keeping that first step low to the ground. It can be the difference between being one of the fastest guys in the field or one of the slowest. The second player on this list is Antti Rubik from Croatia, reportedly reaching a top speed of 34 kilometers per hour. In this clip, you can see him changing directions and he's able to get his body very low to the ground, the same way a sprinter would when exiting the blocks. You can see just how low to the ground he gets in this clip compared to his teammate. It even looks like on that first step, he is striking behind the center of gravity, which allows you to get the strongest push possible in the direction you are trying to go. It's super impressive how this guy's able to do this spontaneously after a sharp turn while handling a ball. I believe the main thing we can take away from Rubik is that staying low to the ground can make a significant improvement in your acceleration. And last but not least, the first player on this list is is Ronaldo. At age 33, he was one of the oldest players at the Russia 2018 World Cup, the youngest player being only 19 years old. However, despite being one of the oldest players, he was also one of the fastest, reportedly reaching a top speed of 34 kilometers per hour. Time with Rubik for fastest recorded speed. In a lab study, they found that he covered 1.7 meters per stride, the same as Usain Bolt during the first 20 meters of his 100 meter world record. Let's take a look at some of his training footage. It seems like he works on hill sprints, which are really effective for improving your acceleration. See, compared to 
track where there's a start, acceleration, and top speed. In soccer, the sprints are much shorter. They typically only start and accelerate for 15 to 30 meters. So it seems like their training revolves primarily around the acceleration phase. In this clip, he's even doing block starts, which typically are used only in track. I guess it's no surprise he's the fastest because even if you don't use this in a soccer match, the power and explosiveness you develop in blocks will transfer over to your running start in a soccer match or other sport. He's one of the best athletes in the world working with the best coaches there is. So if he's doing it, there has to be a good reason for it. This right here might truly be one of the secrets behind his insane speed at age 33. If you wanna improve your speed, use hills and don't underestimate the power of starting blocks. In summary, here are the top five lessons from the top five fastest soccer players. Lesson number one, when you're in a full sprint, eyes straight ahead. Lesson number two, your arms have a big impact on your speed. They can either make you significantly faster or slower depending on your technique. Lesson number three, practice keeping that first step low to the ground in order to transform your sprint start. Lesson number four, stay low to the ground if you want to accelerate powerfully. Lesson number five, if you want to improve your speed, use hills and don't underestimate the power of starting blocks. That concludes this video. To learn more about sprint drills, click here. To learn more about Usain Bolt's sprint secrets, click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And hit the like button if you found this helpful.